Okay, we good. Family. Family, family, family. And I got to keep it 100 with you. You know, so I'm very direct on here. I'm pretty much very, very clean. One thing I notice about me and I only can speak on my family, you know what I'm saying? And within my ethnic group, we are not on the front page of Hallmark movies, especially within the black community, you know what I'm saying? Um, I pretty much feel as if I'm one of the leaders in my family. Like, not even just like, no, I'm just go ahead and talk, talk very strong and very real on here. I feel as if I'm one of the top shelf leaders in my family. That's dealing with all the men, that's dealing with all the cousins, that's dealing, they're even dealing with the old heads. And I'm saying it's out of a form of respect. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we, we go through a lot of stuff, right? And we could be, I guess you say, the one that's considered as being the hard-headed ass sibling. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we can be pretty much labeled that by not by what people label us, but by what we have done with our free will and chosen to pretty much be that black sheep. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times the black sheep of the family is just the fact that I personally feel like I mean, everybody know me here, I'm pretty much a god friend dude. A lot of times when you being a black sheep, pretty much you you develop your own experiences. You go into your own lanes and, and you come back a lot of times as the hunter of the family of a lot of experiences that a lot of people within the family kind of had this, the, the, the scare, they, they, didn't, they had the fear to actually do. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, me taking a lot of chances for us pretty much all my life, you know what I'm saying? It had led me in situations where I realized I was wrong and I realized I was um, in bad in, in, in some situations, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day is, with those experiences, I learned to share the good side of it and the bad side of it. If it was a bad experience, I could tell you why not to do that. If it was a good experience, I could tell you why to do that, you know what I'm saying? So that was the time with, with me, by me being pretty much, not necessarily arrogant, but as a level of, Developing that confidence like that, okay, you say don't do that, but I tried this shit and it worked. So it put me in that state to pretty much like second guess everything. And in the midst of that, that also kind of correlated and start to develop your personality for us where you fit um, within the tribe of your family. You know what I'm saying? Many times when you have those experiences and you have that type of, um, you know, that type of success rate of pretty much following your own heart, you tend to not want to listen to people. And you, you tend to feel as if it's this way or the highway. You know what I'm saying? And in many cases, too, you could be right in, 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 many, in many forms and many factors. You know what I mean? But on the other side is, it's not necessarily about you being right or wrong. What I'm noticing, being that, being that top tier individual within my family, it's primarily is, can somebody come to you with a problem and you actually willing to listen to them? when they pretty much need somebody to talk to. You get what I'm saying? And I don't know I keep saying get what I'm saying. Because I'm, I'm trying to pretty much like, I'm freestyling all of this, you know what I mean? I've learned within family situations sometimes. There's a time when you're supposed to pretty much play your part, and there's a time when you pretty much supposed to fall back from your part, you know? And with that being said is, I just gotta be honest though, like within my family, it's kind of hard to get everybody pretty much on the same page. And I think not necessarily, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's pretty much like a um, a spiritual hindrance or something like that. I just feel as if um, our, our genetics pretty much develop a, a very strong, headstrong type family. You know what I'm saying? And tension can just come out of the come out of the blue. It, I, I don't think it's nowhere near like Floyd Mayweather, you know what I'm saying, relationship with his dad. But tension can easily just, just spark. You know what I'm saying? And what I've noticed with that is with also experience, you got to pretty much know how to move through conversations because shit can pretty much get started out of the blue. You know what I'm saying? Over nothing, you know? And I feel like with that being said, uh, when these situations pretty much arouse in family, if you have the wisdom to pretty much discern, you know what I'm saying, where a person mindset is at or a person in person intentions is at, that is a good thing. That is a good gift. But at the same time, you have to have a forgiving heart. You have to realize that person is in their space. You know what I'm saying? That's where they're at. No matter how right you are, no, no matter how wrong you're not, the thing about it is you could want something so bad for somebody else or they could pretty much uh, carry out, carry around so much um, baggage, so much, so much luggage, 
that's pretty much not good for you to sit around or listen to, to the point you got to accept that's where they at. And you pretty much got to stay. And you, I, I, it's, it's kind of hard to pretty much explain. But because the thing about it is, if you allow gossip to pretty much spread into your mind, it's just it's just trash trying to find another being to get into, and that 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 particular trash that most definitely is pretty much endless. It's 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 never ending. You get what I'm saying? I keep saying you get what I'm saying. I gotta pretty much change that. But at the end of the day, is when you have that form of leadership and you can see these things pretty much coming among, coming amongst a family. What if it's in your household? What if it's in pretty much um like your mom, your dad household, whatever niche y'all pretty much is. At the end of the day. Family is not to be split apart, no matter how much wisdom you have, no matter how good you're able to pretty much tread around the gossip that the he say, she say, the the um he paying all the rent, she ain't doing that, or she paying all the rent, ain't doing that, and that's not even pretty much your household. You know what I mean? At the end of the day is, we're supposed to be pretty much supportive of our family. Whether they make the right decisions or not, you can't make it for them. You get what, you, you feel me? Because what what happens is you've been blessed with that knowledge. You've been blessed with that form of discernment. You've been blessed with that experience to understand why this is not a good thing to do. But when sometimes you try to explain it to a family member, especially within our family, you got to pretty much let them go off on their own course. You got to pretty much at times you can share how you feel, but there are, there's also responsibility where you got to get out the way. You, you get me? So hopefully later on down the road, when they do have that experience, when they do figure out that you was right about that, you guys can have a very, very genuine conversation. You know what I'm saying? I'm well aware. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm here on Reddit. I'm well aware. Um, that may, may be drug addicts. Drug addicts. There may be um, cats that can't probably keep a job in your family. You know what I'm saying? There may be some cats that are pretty much not taking care of their child, uh, whether it's their daughter. There may be an individual who pretty much, um, just, just pretty much in some cases, how you may feel or others may feel in your family, you pretty much take notice that they kind of see that individual in the family as a disgrace. One thing about those situations that is you got to look at it like this here. It's still your family, you know. And I guess I'm pretty much talking on this, you know what I'm saying, um, today because I have some family situations pretty much going on, but it's not to that degree because I don't I don't make it as as serious as I used to because I understand now how to see situations, how to pretty much maneuver. And I also have a pretty much a forgiving heart, you know, but you still have your standards. You can't let other people pull you down with they trash within the family. So if you got mama talking about sister, mama feel as if, you know what I'm saying, she ain't did that with her career or she hasn't, uh, she had cost the families, your, your mom and dad so much money, but she don't know what she want to do, so on, so this and so on, so that. The best advice I could tell you with that is tell mom, Maybe you need to work on developing a spirit where she will actually come to you and tell you what is a problem. See, that's another thing, man. And I'm noticing, too, we're having my own child right now. We can want the best for our kids to the point after we realize they don't want what we want. We can easily go around and talk about it to other people because now we're relieving ourselves about what we pretty much want for our child. But they're not being pretty much receptive to it. And that's what caused all that, that drama, bro. Like all that, all that unforgiveness, all that bitterness in your heart, man. If you got a sister, if you got a brother, if you got anybody pretty much that's close to you, you know, that's pretty much a blessing right there. So now, if they choose a different lifestyle, that's their own thing. That's their thing. Like you cannot get upset with the decision. I mean, I know it may hurt. I guess you can't be upset for a while, but. You can't let let it get in the way of the love that you're supposed to have. You know what I'm saying for your brother or your sister or or your god brother, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying. However, y'all pretty much brought up because what that does, it gets in the way of the identity of what you guys pretty much represent together, which is supposed to be unforgiving love. It's supposed to be love itself, period. And that's pretty much what divides family. You know what I'm saying. So and also when you don't have that forgiving heart, what that does too as well. It creates a wedge within the family, bro. I'm pretty much a, a huge witness of that. You have a small situation such as uh, what college somebody want to go to or who this person here pretty much want to love. And it'll, 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 it'll call a huge, huge division within your family. You know what I'm saying? Now, for the person who pretty much is the black sheep of the family, 
You got to look at yourself like this. Yeah, you're your own person. Yeah, you got to develop your own experiences. Yeah, it's your life. Yeah, it's your free will. You know. But the people that pretty much love you, bro, or sister, before you make your decision, think twice. Measure twice, cut once. Because you'd be surprised, like I said earlier, just be that one decision that caused that huge wedge of a family. Like, I ain't gonna, I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, bro, like, my Thanksgiving dinner, I pretty much didn't even socialize with family to that degree. And it's pretty much because I feel as if I am on my own course. I am on my own page. You know what I'm saying? Not that, um, not that, I, what's, what, how I want to put this? Not that as if I'm holding a grudge, but things is just not where it used to be. Now, you can walk around and you can pretty much have forgiven somebody, but sometimes some things that hit the family and you don't handle that shit with, 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 a, with a form of ordinance and, and with a sense of wisdom, man. Your family would never have the same vibe that it used to be at all, period, man. Thanksgiving dinners are not the same. Now, you're going to always have a lame-ass cuz. you always going to have one of them motherfuckers around there. you always going to have a lame-ass cuz who think he more what he is. You know what I'm saying? That shit, that's just unedible. It's, it's just, it is what I'm not talking about them motherfuckers. I'm talking about the ones that pretty much you really, really fuck with. The ones who really, really, you, you really care about them. You really got mad love for. And they're making a decision that pretty much you feel as if it's a disgrace to you your bloodline, or whatever it is. What if he coming to the Thanksgiving dinner or the Christmas dinner all drunk or high or harrowing, whatever it is. But the one thing about it, man, if you have a forgiving heart, you won't pretty much judge that individual. You'll pretty much kind of shed a lot of prayer for him. You know what I mean? And the thing about that is, too, though, a lot of time when people are outcast, it's because they feel don't nobody want to pretty much hear their story. So if you have pretty much shared how you felt, you know what I'm saying, with your family member, and they're still fucking around, they're still doing uh, hard, they still doing coke, they still, you know what I'm saying, sleeping with a man, they still ain't taking care of their kids, or whatever the hell they, they got going on, at least position yourself to the point where they know they can come and talk to you. That's how you say that family burn, bro. Like, end of the day, it's all about communication. It's all about pretty much letting that person know, like, hey, you know I don't fuck with that shit. I don't, I don't fuck with that. But if you ever need some, holler at me. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know you know how I feel about that. And I got to be honest with you, though. If you keep calling me with the same shit over and over and over and over and over, over a period of time, I want you to know I still fuck with you, but I don't have time to waste with you. You, you get me? Because one thing about making bad decisions and going against the wisdom somebody's blessed you with or giving you, it comes with a form of residue. You know what I'm saying? And the one thing about decision-making, too, is this right here. When you go against the wisdom, when you go against the grain, you know what I'm saying, people give you good knowledge. The shit don't happen just like that. The shit happen little by little. Little by little, the shit happens. Somebody else told you some good ass advice, and then all of a sudden, one year go by, you still doing good, and all of a sudden, six months after the year, shit start going down. Shit start going downhill. And all of a sudden, you got a mind map to figure out, man, how the fuck did I get in this situation? Now you borrowing money from mama. Now, now you know what I'm saying? Your, your car fucked up. All this, every, now everybody got a pitch in in the family. To lift your ass up because they done told you something two years ago what not to do, and you did the shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, if you go be if you go be all the way into your own fucking decision, you know what I'm saying, within your family, and you know your family helping them out, don't ask for no help. Like, deal with that shit 100%. Stand on your own, too. You know what I mean? Now, if, if shit get too tight, then go to family. But don't misuse your family. And a lot of times, drug habits is most definitely one of the huge, you know what I'm saying, Family, family split ups. You know what I mean. And and I'm gonna tell you this though. If you if you in the chat right now, bro, like I'm gonna keep it hundred with you. I'm not sure if you the black sheep of the family. I'm not sure if you cutting on yourself. I'm not sure if you don't pretty much on you in college. You don't fucked off some money. You ain't told mom and dad yet or whatever it is. Man, the best thing you pretty much can do is come forward and be honest and let them know what is your plan to pretty much get things right with them on the right page. And you know what I'm saying? You're not taking no no formal offers at all, period. Because I'm going to tell you, man, right now, it's December, man. It's a lot of family shit going on. And, and I'm going to tell you this. I don't have my mom or my daddy here. I, I still got a stepmom around. Both of them gone. And you got people that's here now. They're taking advantage of the relationships. They're taking advantage of the relationships because they think mom will always be there. They think mom will always be there uh, for finances. What if it, what if they can't pretty much get their get they house together or find somewhere to place? Uh, I'm sorry, find somewhere to stay. 
they taking advantage of the relationship. And a lot of a lot of times they love you love them, but you pretty much don't value the relationship. You don't pretty much value the love. You value what they're able to offer to you. Your mom, your dad, your uncle, whoever the fuck showing you love, they're not gonna always be here, man. The best return you can get them is to get your shit together, get your shit straight. You know what I'm saying? I know it's December, you probably don't skip. I don't skip this Thanksgiving, dude. I ain't gonna lie to you. And my, my thing is too, like anytime I talk, man, like people listen. Like, um, because I know how I can get emotional and I, I can damn near flip the damn table with the turkey on, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, they know I'll go to bat for them. They know they don't have to call me for nothing. They 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 know I can hold down what I got going on and add something to them, you know what I'm saying? And it's and it's all love. But if you one of them cats that pretty much don't even respect mom. Or Mona told you this, you know, find yourself in the hole. The, the best thing you could pretty much do is confess. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mona, I ain't going to lie to you. You was right. I probably should have got down. I probably should have dated old dude. He, 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 ain't no, uh, he ain't a good baby dad or whatever it is. Be, be straight with your family, bro. Like, family is all you got. You know what I'm saying? And then for those who pretty much done and gave the knowledge, and now you just going around saying, I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. Yeah, you done told him, but shit. Why he ain't talking to you now? It's because now you walking around with a spirit of arrogance as if you know every goddamn thing. Man, family is about that unity, bro. That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? I think we, we done got lost. Well, I guess you say like with me at a time and also my family, sometimes we get lost letting people know, man, I'm straight. I'm good. You good. You know what I'm saying? To the point that shit really don't even matter. Like We don't let all that shit pretty much not separate, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the true meaning of being thankful. You know what I'm saying? Like my mom, I ain't going to lie, bro, like, I'm going to keep it, I ain't, I ain't going to shout out on her, but it's like my mom, man, she really taught me a lot about, and my mom told me that. My mom said, I'm going to tell you, you're very, very special. You're very, very special, Cora. It's nothing to pretty much hold over your head to make you feel like this or, or that, there. but at the end of the day, take care of your brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? And now, to be honest with you, to be very open, um, that kind of come to mind, I do have a grudge with a particular family member. And I'm gonna call her, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let her know how it is. It ain't even my sister, me and my sister, we don't, we don't, we don't beefed out, but we good. She know I'm always here. But I just wanna come on here. I, I won't go be long today. But look, man, I'm gonna tell y'all, this is the holiday, man. It should be, when it comes down to family, it should always keep it 100. Go cut my grass a little bit. Go see what my need done. You know what I'm saying? You done got down, you know, you done got your degree, you done got married. You know what I'm saying? Now you go back home and you see mom, you feel like you too fucking good now. You know what I mean? Kids running around with all the, the, the latest gear on. You done got ahead of yourself. You, 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 you done got way too far. You don't even call dad to check on him, see how he doing. You know what I'm saying? Your wife, she a little arrogant or whatnot, but that's cool. But one thing about that is you need to make sure that whoever you marry, whoever you go be in line with, that they pretty much go respect your household. They, they, they go respect the origins of where you come from. Now, if your daddy don't crack, now I'm, I'll talk like this because I come from, you know what I'm saying, that realm. If your daddy don't crack, your daddy smoke weed, whatever it is, at the end of the day, that's still your dad. You know what I'm saying? You got to forgive him for that. That's his life. That's what he chose. And when you bring your mate around, you feel like you done did too good, she need the most definitely respect mom and dad too. I don't give a damn what his habit is. You know what I'm saying? And same thing for old dude. If your mama don't don't look too good, she don't have the latest, her house ain't this, her house ain't this bit. Man, respect each other, man. Because at the end of the day, if it wasn't for them, your ass wouldn't be here, period. You can, you can walk around with the grudges, you know what I'm saying, feel as if how daddy did you, but at the end of the day is, that's still your dad, and you're not going to get over the hump until you pretty much forgive him for the wrongness that he did. And they go vice versa, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to lie to you, man. When my, when my pop died, bro, I was, I, I was honestly... I wasn't sad, I was angry. I'ma just be dead ass honest with you. And I'm gonna say this on here, and I'm I'm, 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 keeping, a, I'm keeping a dollar with y'all, you know what I mean? Because I always do that within my streams because I speak from my heart. When my dad um, when my dad left, I was so angry because I felt like, damn, how the hell he go die? And he left all this shit out of order. I felt like him, him passing, it pretty much, I felt like him passing, he took the easy way out because I felt like he didn't face me as a man. But that's, that was my perspective, though. That's how fucked up in the head I was, you know what I'm saying? That was my perspective. I didn't I didn't pretty much understand, man, him having a conversation with you or everybody kind of telling how everything should be left in order, that's probably the last goddamn thing on his mind. He's he pretty much trying to, trying to keep his life. He's trying to save his life. But it's like, but when we extremely arrogant, bro, and we only thinking about ourselves, that's, that's the only how far as we can fucking see. That's the only far we can see. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, you may have a sister. She may have a drug habit. 
You know what I'm saying? You pretty much don't talk to her no more. You don't fuck with her no more because you feel as if she make you look bad. Look, man, your sister strung out. What the hell? How the hell you become a party over that? You might need to be develop a formal relationship where she can talk to you about her problems so she can get over the shit. You feel me? But when you, like I say, when it's all about you, how you making the family look, that, that window of selfishness is just is just stay closed. And you can't pretty much see that you probably can have one conversation. It may not happen just like this. That one conversation can pretty much spark her into wanting to get help. It's the holidays, bro. We ain't, I ain't, we're not down. You know what I'm saying? I just want to come over here. I want, like I always do. You know what I'm saying? The other day we talked about pornography. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to come on here, pretty much share, you know what I'm saying, what I'm probably, so not necessarily going through, but I've been giving this this particular advice, you know what I'm saying, to people. And um, I want to come over here and get to y'all. Like, my circle's small, but right now it's like 2,000 people in here. That's my whole thing. If, if you got down walking on that high horse, and you think you got down too good, and you know what I'm saying, you go around, you gotta walk around with your chest out out and shit. Man, that ain't that ain't family, man. That ain't, you know, that's that's a whole nother aura that you're playing. That's that's a character in your head. You know what I'm saying? Kick the shoes off, play the games with the little cousins, man. Like really uh, give them your your vibe instead of you playing this character that you that you that person in the family. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know where the hell I'm going for Christmas, man. I, I don't even know because I know I owe some conversations to, to some people because now I have the form of wisdom and intellect to understand. I haven't been necessarily moving right. I mean, I haven't been moving wrong, but the thing about it is, it's being on my heart, and when it's on your heart, you don't need to ignore it. So, I mean, I could take some questions in the chat, but I'm finna get to my coffee, and I was honestly finna go and lay my ass down. Um, I say at home, say being avoiding my family because it's just gotten harder and harder to keep my mouth shut about the bigotry-based shit. I know where you coming from, bro. I'm gonna tell you about this right here, though. I'm gonna tell you. I start going around. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, man. My dad fell out with me because I was fucking with. Uh, I was on some Republican shit. And he said I'm going to work every fucking day and busting my ass. And yo ass, believe it. Yo, yo ass, Republican. Like I was young as fuck. I was like in fifth grade, I think. I'm just be straight up. That was watching the bit. I remember this shit like like it was yesterday. At that moment, I knew me and my dad was different. You know, at that moment, I knew my dad was different. But as I got older, I didn't really realize the amount of wisdom that he had. Until after he left. And same thing with my mom. My mom wrote so many fucking books, bro. I can't even, I don't even want to go and touch him. She done wrote so many books, she just haven't published it all, period. And I've been thinking about actually getting a book and actually publishing one or two of them. But um, I understand, man, it's a very uncomfortable situation to be in when you when you done fell out with family members, bro. And you feel as if, give yourself a shot, man. Be the leader, bro. Be the leader. Go in that motherfucker. Whatever the hell you at, rich as shit, what if you poor as fuck, whatever the hell you is, put your presence in there, man. Challenge yourself, bro. And, and, and I, I, know, I gotta be honest, though. A lot of times, when you bouncing here and there in different conversations, man, you trying to find somewhere to fit in. You know what I mean? And situations like that, just go around in these conversations, even though if you don't fit in, just just, just be a ear. Just listen to them. Just listen to them. And I'm gonna tell you uh, one thing about this, though, that, that does work for me. Call your people a, a week ahead of time. Call him a week ahead of time. Hey, man, I was just checking on you. I'm actually looking forward to seeing you, man, around Christmas, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm going over so-and-so house. I, 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 I just been, you've been on my mind. I've been thinking about you, man. So, you know, I don't know what it is. I know I never called you like this before, but I'm looking forward to seeing you, buddy. You know what I'm saying? We probably can play some horseshoes, run around with the kids, but for some reason, you've been on my heart. I, I, I really been wanting to talk to you. But the thing about it is, you could do about six or seven of these motherfuckers the same. You could do six or seven people just like that right now. So now, when you go, when you go to the um, the family dinner, whatever it is, everybody want to talk to you. But it, 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 that that's a form of leadership. Because at the end of the day, is if you feeling that way, they probably feeling the same way about you. You get what I'm saying? So, but when we focus on ourselves and we're avoiding. We breaking the we breaking the bond with family, bro. And it, it, family is all you have. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. My my mom, my mother, she was laying on the table. She didn't even have insurance. She had cancer. You know what I'm saying? Did she come to find out? We was able to get her with some astounding insurance before this shit happened. But then she still died. She still she still passed. So it's like at the end of the day, it's like 
I ain't really too much give a damn about the insurance or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? She was still well taken care of. But it just it just go to show you a lot of shit that we allow on the outside world to build our personality or what we fit in our family, bro. A lot of times that shit don't mean nothing. That shit go out the window. You know what I'm saying? When it come down to taking your last breath or whatever it is, man. What I've noticed, man, I have really have been able to. I've been forced to humble myself. You know, just because you know it's right, you got to accept the fact that everybody. It has not been exposed. Everybody don't have that type of discernment. Everybody don't have that type of, you know what I'm saying, um, gift. It's, in, in many cases, it's a gift. But what's a gift and you're using it and it's dividing everybody? You know what I'm saying? You got a voice and when you talk, people like down. People shake their head. People listen. You know what I'm saying? Or, or when you speak, is it a form of happiness? You know? And to be honest with you, sometimes everything everything that's spoken is, is, is not meant to rub people a good way. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time is, are you are you using your gift amongst the family the right way? Are you giving too much? You can be giving too much and goddamn be fucking somebody's life up. Like, shit, the motherfucker ain't grown, they ain't responsible, still can't keep a job, they got down, car nasty, like, that might, I got to get my damn car clean. But it's just like, in, in general, it's like, you got to understand and be very conscious of the role that you play within your family, man, because you, 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 was, you was pretty much chosen to be amongst that bloodline. And we got to start valuing our place and us as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Who go goddamn see by grandma or goddamn Auntie Nana? She on um, Auntie Nana doing a cookout Sunday. You ain't got to stay. She goddamn bring some food. Bring some food, bro. I'm talking about like, and I got to be honest though, like with my family, like y'all, I know y'all probably dealing with some small shit. I'm talking my family, but we be, oh, uh, but I ain't even going to put it out there. I'm not even going to put it out there. But it's just like, we be dealing with some shit. It's holidays, man. Then we got the COVID situation going on. And goddamn, Dunny mad because Santa got a call. Or, or Dunny mad because Grandma gave Sonny a nice CD and you didn't get shit. Man, you your own man. Go get your own. Man, I ain't going to lie to you. I never. Now, I, I, was, I would most definitely say this on record, man. I never, ever, ever been jealous, you know what I'm saying, of my sister. And my mom and dad, uh, well, my stepmom and my dad have always pretty much treated us equal. But I also saw a level of favor there. But I felt like, shit, that's my sister. Shit, I'm going to show a favor. So why the hell would I be tripping off what they're doing for her? I can go get this shit myself. But I understand everybody don't have that mindset because some people can't see past that's, that's your baby sister or that's your baby brother. you supposed to be out there getting it. So if they need anything, you could pretty much not just give it to them, but give it to them and teach them how you got it. But if you're so worried about how much they getting, you never be able to jump out there and get your own experience and know how to get it for yourself. Man, be that family member. Be that family member that's able to give. Be that family member that know how to pretty much transition conversations. To pretty much grow your bloodline, man. Like at the end of the day, you may not be. I guess you said the role. I feel I play, and I know I play in my family. You may be. You may be the small. You may be the small um, on the total pole. You know what I'm saying? You probably don't say much. You probably be on your goddamn game all day, whatever it is. But one one value position you have, you able to learn from everybody experience before you. Now, you could be that individual that pretty much changed the entire bloodline, not just about learning by bad money decisions, but socially. You know what I'm saying? You pretty much can be that individual to always go around grandma, auntie, how, out there, uncle Nano, um, cousin J-Rock or whoever it is. You know what I'm saying? To pretty much share your experiences, man, because one thing about it, when you gone, the family gets smaller if ain't nobody had no kids. And you got to understand, when you invest time, like, like I'm going to be honest with you, like right now, my family is, is is divided by field. You know what I'm saying? But anytime some real shit go down, we always around. We we, we go be there. But we divided by where we want to spend our vibe at. Like, I ain't fucking with them. I ain't going over. I ain't fucking with that shit. But if anytime somebody called me and they need anything or I call them, they always there. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been Christmas shopping for my um, for my nephews and everybody. I'm actually proud of it. Got them some good shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel good about that. Because in the end of the day, is it's like if, if, if I see this, okay, cool. Shout out want that. You know what I'm saying? I may just call my sister right now and chat right now, but I ain't going to do that. I'm I'm, 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 I'm going to chill. I'm, I'm going to kind of keep... I'm not going to put everything on here, but I'm pretty much open. Um, But it's just like, man, be a giver in the family. Realize the position that you play in your family. You know what I'm saying? If if, if you a high horse, if you the one goddamn done graduated from Berkeley or goddamn Stanford, and you see um one of your little cousins, they kind of struggling, help their ass out. Like you think God go bless you in that position and you don't supposed to kick back no knowledge or help nobody out or help to them or anything like that? 
come on, man, help, help, help each other out. If if you got uh, down four four different girl, four different sisters or three sisters. They all married. They all tired as fuck. They all tired. They, they go to work. They come home. They fuck with the kids. They cook or whatever it is. The men got out late. Why all three of the wives get together and just cook? Everybody cook one dish. Everybody come together on one day. So it pretty much, it kind of diversify the labor. We got to stick together, bro. And I'm going to preach this shit right here, too. And probably my own, my crystal. Then I might even go live. I'm most definitely preach this. And I'm going to tell everybody. Who pretty much been holding out everything and I found I'm gonna tell him thank you. You know what I'm saying? I called my uncle here on the chat not too long ago. He kinda went off. He 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 don't have no filter. I may let me go on the call him real quick. I'm I'm gonna call my uncle, man, real quick. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna see what he do. See that that's the type of shit I do, man, on my stream. I'm gonna see what the hell he got going on. Last time I, I couldn't he he hell, man. I'm gonna go on the call him real quick. Let me just show you, let me show you how crazy this get. Y'all stay online, man. I'm gonna tell aunt to tell y'all good morning, because I'm about, I gotta get off. Cause I gotta go take care of some business. I gotta get some sleep. Um, but this pretty much was on my mind though. And y'all forgive me, man. Y'all don't go crazy. Now. I'm gonna call my uncle real quick. Some of y'all may know about this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Here you go. Here you go, Aunt Ryan. He might not pick up. He got mad at me because I, I didn't send any pictures. I sent some pictures, but I ain't sent enough for my daughter. His ass ain't going to pick up. He probably going to call back. He going to call back. Why? I'm going to call back. Please leave your message. I'm gonna tell y'all this. I'm, I'm gonna stay here for a minute, see if he can stay here. But I'm gonna tell you what home go do though. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what he doing. I'm gonna tell you what my uncle doing, man. I hope you're not a minor here. Aunt rent here women. That's that what he doing right now. That, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of my uncle. That, that what my uncle do. He rent here women. Actually, I think I posted him on Reddit. That's what he he probably kind of getting up in the morning. No, he probably work work. I'm not sure what he doing. But at the end of the day, man, it's like this though. Man, we got to pretty much value. The position we play in our family, man. You can't want to. You can't want to be that. Be, you know, what I'm saying that that head hunter of the family. If you ain't that, you want built like that. If you were, if, if you were born a great listener, you know, what I'm saying be a good listener. If you pretty much like a knight on the chessboard, meaning that you know how to be neutral. When you leave white, you can go black. When you leave black, you can go white. Whatever it is. But at the end of the day, you got to recognize your position you play, and you got to be forgiven for people that make their own decisions. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day. Your tools is to pretty much go out there, hunt, whatever you're male or female, bring the resources back to the crib and keep the tribe growing. You know what I'm saying? We can let all this holiday shit, the people who got down walking in with the nice shit on, people who pulling up in the good car, this and so on, so, so on, so, what a goddamn aunt and dad on the corner smoking, smoking a little weed before they go back in to get some Thanksgiving dinner. That It is what it is. But at the end of the day is just know your role. You got down going around talking about everybody else, but you ain't forgave nobody. You know what I'm saying? You know what everybody else got going on, but you still don't have no essence of forgiveness. You sitting here, you know what I'm saying? You, you causing division. Bro, shut your mouth. If you got a grudge with somebody, go take that shit head on to them. But be careful how you do it because you don't want to destroy the vibe. Because if you destroy the vibe, the, the moment won't be genuine. You know what I'm saying? Man, God see favor in that. When you start to not see, not let that big wedge come between the family. Let's say y'all letting this big ass wedge come in between the family. Now you got three kids. Who go watch the kids when you got a role or your wife got to go here or, or, or your husband got to go there? Who you go trust with the kids? You, now you got to hire somebody. Family ain't together no more. You know what I'm saying? No nobody see Big Mom no more. Everybody worrying about, you know what I'm saying? Things that really pretty much do not add value to the bloodline, man. We get our own house and we just think that's it. You ain't checked no mom in the wild, got there. You don't know, you don't know what she got going on. Dad got a situation going on, but at the end of the day, did my house and, and, and did what I'ma focus on. That, that's true. Did my, my brother right here, hold on. Yo, bro. Hey. Yeah. I'm doing the stream right now, brother. Don't say nothing crazy, though. You wanna tell him something? No, nah, I just wanna listen in. Shit, I'm cool. I'm getting, I'm talking about family members, man, how they think they all that and they got down get in their way sometimes. Oh, you talking about yourself? I ain't talking about my damn self. Look, then, on, let me show you the chat. Hey, so turn around, bro. You talking about yourself? Just look at him. You see the camera? Oh, you can't see. You, you can't see the thing. I can't see them. Hey, matter of fact, I want to tell you something though. 
every, ever since you got here, and I'm doing this on the live, this some crazy shit. I can't see you, bro. What's up? I want to tell you this. Remember I told you, I said, man, you know, came down here. I've been wanting to help you, but I ain't been able to do it. I uh-huh. apologize, bro. Hey, that's what I'm calling you for. Come on over to the house. I got to get the truck fixed. I told you that. Yo, I don't I mean, I got, I, I, truck. I can whip up over there, though. I already, um, I already got everything in here. Hey, I you just, know, I, be, I just called. You know, I be making moves, bro. I be making moves. I know, I know, I know. I ain't gonna talk about it. But look, I, I just called Uncle Tommy. He didn't pick up. He be on the chat. He be talking about women and shit. <laughs> he be in your chat. <laughs> no, I be, I be calling. Let him come in on the chat. He come in. Oh, okay. he, he be coming in on the chat. You know, he be home. Ain't got no filter though. You know how that is though. Well, you know, sometimes that's the best way to be to be yourself. I mean, you got to be like that, though. Bro, you got to talk yeah. to the chat, bro. Like, they want to they know about you, bro. Say something. Got, oh, let them know your stream, though. Tell them your stream, bro. Right. Uh, we going to do this live. We going um, we gonna, we gonna to crack up mine and yours at the same time over here. Okay, that's cool. Check it out. My brother, he got a Twitch channel. He on a whole nother uh, level with this shit. I ain't going to lie. Here it is. Y'all, here it is right here. Here it is right here. Oh, they can't see me, can they? Nah, you, you got to say it, bro. ATLGAD, Twitch.tv. Twitch. ATL gay. Okay, I'm gonna turn down the music and, and let you have the mic. Say it one more time. Twitch.tv backslash ATL gay. Totally different from me. Totally different from me. This this is my A. I told him, bro. Who I, I told him this right here, bro. I told him I'm the head hunter of the family, bro. And I know that. And I'm the, I'm the baby boy, and I feel good to say that. You you ain't the head on Man, you don't go on with that shit. Well, you better be go, bro. Who else hold it down, bro? You better stop that's playing. That's in your mind. That's in your mind. Okay, that's cool. Who might have way get? Who might have way? Hey, no, 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 no. I tell you, no, fuck that. Call Lisa. We for the call. We for the call. If you don't think great of yourself, who the fuck will? Nobody else. I hope. That's right. They so you, you 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 dream big, aim high, yeah. and, and dream big. What you doing, bro? I'm rolling the joint. <laughs> See, I told you. I still ain't smoked now, bro, because I ain't made a meal yet. I, I got to get some real money, man, before I fuck with that stuff. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. I'm rolling the joint. Why You, you got to start streaming. Get on your phone. Stream on your phone. My brother don't fuck with Reddit, nah, bro. man. Look, man. Look, let me show you. Let me show you. Yeah. I'm putting stuff together. Let oh, okay. I got, you, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Let's see. Then when you come back here, to see this, you know? Half of my desk in here. Yeah, y'all make sure you, I'm, I'm gonna drop his. Um, I got, I'm gonna drop his shit down below. Y'all I gotta make sure bring y'all, it in here. I'm gonna subscribe. Y'all make sure y'all. If y'all mess with Twitch, I don't mess with Twitch yet. I do, but I don't understand. He supposed to be teaching me on Twitch. I'm gonna drop his stream down below. Y'all make sure y'all go check it out. ATL Gas, just type that in on Twitch. You do. What you do a lot of game and shit, right? Say, bro. Yeah, see, I do a lot of gaming. Okay, gaming and what else? Gaming and talking shit, just like you do. Hey, look, now I'm be talking some real shit, bro. I, I feel like I can't come on here and don't, and don't talk no real stuff, bro. Like, I was just talking about forgiving the family, though. Forgiveness, you know what I'm saying? I, I just can't come on here and don't have nothing to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I may come on here and what, fuck with the, the chat, but I don't. What's the link to your channel? Um, Just type in, you. well, you're Reddit different, though, bro. It's you slash, you backslash. You Reddit? Yeah, you slash direct the core. Oh, uh, that, that boo, I don't like Reddit. Oh shit! They for the flame. They for the flame for that, bro. I don't care. That's that's their job. That's their job. I gotta hold it where they can see it, though. That is crazy, though. The Reddit people tend to go with the masses instead of if if, like if I'm like I'm gonna put myself as a Reddit fan. Okay. Okay. Most of the people don't like it, so I'm not gonna like it either. It don't matter if I do like it. I'm gonna go with the mess and say I don't like it. I think that's Instagram, bro. I don't think that's Reddit right there, though. No, that's Reddit. Hell no. Nah. Reddit is some very opinionated, smart motherfuckers, man. Yeah, but the majority of them are followers. They all followers? Shit, I'm a follower. You a follower, too. Not it, that type of person. Right, okay. Like it, I, can, I, can, I can understand it. Everybody follows something, though, bro. Hey, somebody said, y'all Reddit bullshit. <laughs> I fuck with Reddit, bro. Man, Reddit bullshit for real. What you, so what, you, what y'all think you're I should learn, do? Though, you're learning, though. It takes time to, to learn. See it. So I've been dealing with Reddit for like four years. So okay. I already know. 
Okay, okay. It so takes time to figure it. Okay, check it out then. If y'all want to call my brother Bluff, right? We got 2,976 people in here. If you fuck with me, my call to action is go ahead and follow me so you can see the next stream. If you ain't if you ain't on the bullshit, just just go ahead and follow me. He hung up on man. Oh, then Uncle Tommy, bro, I can hit you back. Oh, uh, what it is? Get on down. What's going on, bro? Same old, same old. What's going on with you? Hey, look, check it. I got red. I had red on the other line, but check this out. They would. I was doing the stream on the importance of being a good, a good family member and knowing how to forgive people, right? But you can't come on here talking all that shit like you did last time. But I want you to. I want you to give people your origin and how family's supposed to move. Say what now? Say that again, now. How do don't come on here talking all that racist shit again, man? How do how do family supposed to move right now? Like like like. <laughs> what what's the importance of family? Like back in the day, did y'all argue? Did y'all be jealous of one another? Like, just go ahead and lay it on the line so everybody can. You you honestly got a character on the show right now. Yeah. But you know, back in our day there, the, 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 all the boys grew up by the same. The girls were little totters, little baby like your baby. Okay. They were little. Okay. Yeah. So we really had nothing to do with them until, um, we, after we done got married and, and kicked folks' ass and shit and got ones and got locked up. But it's, it's the most they know anything about us now. Okay. You know? So, all right, let me ask, first of all, let me ask you this. I got to go ahead and develop your character on the show, though. You got a woman over there? Nah. You had one last night? Why? You can't talk? Yeah, I can talk. I just want to know, man, because everybody want to know if you rented one last night. That's all. Want to know where I was? They want to know if you rented a woman last night. Because last time you were talking about women. Oh, no, I ain't renting. I'm going to rent one Friday. <laughs> so you going to rent one. <laughs> you going to rent one Friday. Yeah. Okay. Let us spend the night. Okay. Uh, okay, we don't got that out of the way. So let me ask you this: This is what I want to get get from you. How do the young men supposed to move in the family versus you know what I'm saying the women for? Because you know women keep up with a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? How do they, they get a lot? They keep they keep shit going. They they ain't nothing but drama people. Right. Okay. So how they can't live unless they got some shit going on. Start talking about folks and stuff. Yeah. It it, it messes up the whole Thanksgiving dinner, the whole everything on it. No, they, they fuck it up. Talking about each other. Yeah. They, they can see somebody coming in the door. I can't stand her. <laughs> hey, girl. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> hey, man, you got to get your... Hey, look, man, this what I'm going to do. Y'all ain't got to pay me, right? But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to start bringing my uncle on the show, right? Uh, you got uh, We got to get your cash out, man, so when you come on the show, man, people can pretty much send you a dollar too, man. Y'all y'all cool with that? <laughs> Y'all cool with that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm serious. I'm going to start calling you, man, because they, they they love to hear you talk. They love to hear you talk about how, how women supposed to dress, how women supposed to keep their feet done, and you know what I'm saying? They do. Okay, for example. Oh, you talking about your people on your side of town. <laughs> no, bro, we ain't talking about. No, 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 no. We, we on Reddit, bro. We we, we like, we, we streaming live right now. It's like 500 people listening to you talk right now. So I just need you to say some real shit. Like, what? how your day going to go today? You going to work? Me? Yeah. Uh-uh, no, I ain't going to work today. I ain't been to work since um, February last year. February last? Oh, you went on the COVID, huh? The COVID? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Before Trump get it all and take it to Russia. You say Trump. What you, what you, <laughs> so what you think is going to happen, though, with the Trump? You going to get out? This shit done changed hand, y'all, so I'm just going with the flow. So what now? So What I think going to happen? Yeah. Yeah, number of them, Trump going to get his goddamn ugly and him and ugly ass wife out of the White House. And then these folks, them damn women that been trying to have him locked up, he going to be going through that for the next four years. Okay. Yeah, he getting out of that, man. He too dangerous, man. That man dangerous. He's, okay. You got, you got to get that crazy son of a bitch out of there, man. Gotcha, yeah. That's gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, man. All right, yeah. uh, we gotta set you up a cash. We got we gotta set you up a cash out, bro. I'm I'm gonna most definitely show y'all. Ain't gotta pay me, man. I just just follow, man. Unc, you got anything? <laughs> you got anything to say to the pretty big women out there? I got anything for the what women? You got anything to say to the on um, the pretty big women out there? Yeah, tell them they want a goddamn want some money. They got the goddamn show production with me and look good. Tell them that. <laughs> they can get paid, and I can get goddamn late. <laughs> All right, man. All right, okay. I see. Hey, where you going for Christmas? Where you going for Christmas? 
Hell, if I don't pray, but I'm going to go to the old daughter stay there like I did Thanksgiving about 5 or 6 o'clock and bring my ass on home. But I think I'm on. Okay, okay. Um, Get me a runner girl Christmas uh, Eve and Christmas night. You say Christmas Eve, Christmas Boat, you going to get two of them? Yeah. Okay. okay. Got to have one before Santa Claus comes, then I'm going to have one after Santa Claus and came. <laughs> man, all right, man. Be blessed, bro. I'm going to get up with you. All right. We got to get right, you on you cash. You be good, man. All right, all right, Tenfo. Y'all, all right, bye. All right. Y'all be good, man. I'm going to go ahead and end the show, man. I, most definitely. I, I I chop it up in the chat. I see somebody gave me like crazy hours in here. So I, I stay like another 10 minutes or so. Um, I wish y'all would have gave me some question to ask. That. My family crazy, bro. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, it's on a whole another level, man. Like, seriously. Um, appreciate the love. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the love. Uh, let me go on and get some music in real quick. I don't know what the hell that is. It's been nine years. All right, all right. Sorry about that. Just trying to get the vibe back going. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? To bring it all, to bring it all to a conclusion, man. Don't allow all the bullshit separate the good vibe you can have with your family. You know what I'm saying? If y'all got the grudge thing going on, I totally understand that. You know, men go do that. Just like my uncle just saying, women keep up with a lot of shit. Men, don't get involved with that shit. You know what I'm saying? If if your if your spouse don't like old girl, cool. Let them handle that shit. Don't you? You don't get in that shit. That ain't that, that ain't that ain't your job. You know what I'm saying? If the men in the family fall out, that shit ain't gonna hold ain't gonna hold no structures. The men are are, are the beams of the house. You know what I'm saying? Like kind of kind of keep it keep it clean, man. We, we ain't trying to get into all that. Destroying the fam, man. We got to keep it together. You know what I mean? What are you going to do better yourself today? Me? Shit. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll probably take Boo back to the park or something. But it's been, it been pretty cold in Atlanta, so I don't think I'm going to do that. I'll get paid, get paid. Don't get, don't get into the shit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't play any instruments. No, I do not. I pretty much just deal with audio and media. That's That's pretty much my thing. And I also recorded this section too, man. So if y'all want to go back and check it out, y'all can. Um, I don't know, like, for us with the podcast, I'm waiting on my partner said to get in from L.A. so we can shoot it in my living room. I mean, I'm sorry, my dining room area. Uh, I think I'm going to upload this um, this particular cast right here. So y'all have something pretty much cool to go back and listen to and stuff if you actually missed it. Uh, have a good day to you, Atham. Take care, man. Be blessed. I hope y'all pretty much uh, got something from it. I hope I can get something from y'all when I go back and read the chat. Uh, make sure you guys... Subscribe, man. If y'all fuck with me, man, go ahead and follow, bro. Like, and shoot me a message. You know what I mean? I even shoot you the, the number to call, text me. Believe it or not, bro. Like, I'm always going back and forth with people that I done met on Reddit. I done met a lot of cool people. Got an individual from Spain supposed to be on um, doing an interview with. I'm not gonna speak too strong on that right now, but I actually met him on Reddit. Cool dude. I'm most definitely stay in tune with that. So, most definitely go ahead and follow me, man. Go ahead and you know and show love. Like, like bring it back. You know what I mean? I put a lot of work into this. Also, for to buy some more stuff to make the stream even better. I want to give y'all an awesome experience. I tried the Twitch. I know I have to go to Twitch. That's what my brother been pretty much telling me. But it's just in general, man. For some reason, I like the community in here on Reddit. We talk the same. We dress the same. You know what I'm saying? I, I like Reddit. You know what I mean? Twitch is a little too... It, I don't know. It's just a little techy. I feel like I can pretty much just, just fucking just do me here. You know what I mean? But I know I'm going to have to migrate to Twitch. I already know that for a fact. Um, any questions? Um, positive eyes. This is my brother again. Hold up. Yo, bro. Hey, man, I need you to come help me out, man. Where you at? I'm at the Boulevard. I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to keep a scratch of my flows up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you need somebody to help you carry. Okay, I'll be over. Let me go in the industry. I'm gonna, I head over, though. Hey. I'm, just, I'm finna send you my address. Hey, give me some gas money, though, bro. I got, I got you, though. You. All right, Tiffo. You want me to come and get you? Shit, nah, because I got to leave when I got to leave. I hit over there. I can take you back when I, whenever you gotta go back, you know. Um, uh, boy, I ain't gonna lie, boy. Your girl coming there talking that shit. I'm getting the hell on, boy. <laughs> like she ain't gonna be. She ain't gonna uh, be here. I turn my own, bro. I turn my own off. key, bro. I pick her up at four thirty. She don't get off at four thirty. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right, let me go ahead and end this real quick now. All right. All right, ten four. Man, so look. Y'all like family, bro. Y'all be getting all the combo and all that. Like, bro, I really rock with y'all on here, man. I know some trolls in here, but I'm cool with that. But you just need to be funny. If you're a troll, just be funny. That's all I ask, bro. I ain't go, I ain't go trip. If you're a troll, just be funny. That's it. Just be funny if you're a troll. 
Oh, any other questions? What kind of shit she talking? Uh, what's a twitch like? Uh, I got a twitch, man, but I I don't know. I, I gotta pretty much get the vibe with it. You know what I'm saying? I like Twitch, but I, I know that's pretty much gonna be more profitable for me. You know what I'm saying? Cause like with me, I don't like asking people to pretty much like donate cash out, but I do know at the same time I'm about my bag, and I, I do spend a lot of time in here. I feel as if I do give a form of quality here. You know what I'm saying? Cause I respect y'all. I don't want to get on here and just talk about bullshit. You get a a lame ass experience. Um, now the live show on Sunday is pretty much a lot. So a lot of times I like to get notes. I like to script it, but throughout the week. I like to give people a positive vibe, but on a more common level. You know what I'm saying? A level pretty much who I am. And like what the shit was said, you know, he probably gonna be on another level, but I like to be real with people, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I really can do that here. You know what I'm saying? With um with Reddit. I think with Twitch, I'm gonna have to be a little more polished. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong, I could be right, but I don't know. But it's the experience go teach me that. And uh, one thing about it, I'm not gonna lay down on my Reddit, um, the Reddit audience, you know what I'm saying? It's it is what it is. I don't say Reddit better than Twitch. I agree with that. But see, the only thing with Twitch right now is, is the frame. Like, I, I deal with, like, I like to give a, a different frames and different styles and, you know, stuff like that. But it's cool, though. Love from Central. Thank you, man. Shout out to Texas. Everybody drop where you're from or say something positive. I got to go help my brother move all this shit. And he out there. He, like, way out there, too. Same thing, off the door, I agree. Cater to the audience. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Shout out to another, another Bronner Reddit 12. Y'all got some names, this is hard. That's the only thing with that, I'm not to do the range, the names and whatnot. Shout out from Boston, Boston was hand. Shout out to Boston, that's how they talk, Boston. Shout out to Boston. ATL in the business, shout out to ATL. Virginia was handing, what's going on? VA. Got Chicago. Thank you guys for showing mad love, man. Rochester, New York. That's like the countryside of New York. Shout out to the country boys up there in New York. Shout out to the country boys out there in New York. Hey, we say New York. 585 Rochester. Toronto, what's happening? How you doing? How you doing? Glad you guys pretty much checking in on the show. Um, Toronto, Toronto. Where we at? Where we at? Another Anon on Reddit coming for the South of Tennessee. Tennessee, I got to be honest, bro. I done pretty much seen all the Eastern um, states. Tennessee is one of the most by far beautifulest states in the Southeast region. I will say that because you get to Iowa. It ain't really shit in Iowa, just the flatlands. But just seeing like the cornfields and how flat it is and how the sun go down is beautiful. But Tennessee is a beautiful state, man. Beautiful. You ever had a garbage plate? 585, yes, sir. White country boy checking. Country boy was handed, man. Shout out to the major workers out there. Shout out to the dudes that's getting dirty for the family, man. And also, shout out to the guys who fuck with the computer. Shout out to the guys who do the cameras. If you a guy right now, right, and you got a family, if you don't have a family, if you a guy right now and you holding down the family, man, shout out to you. If you a guy who holding down the family, but you just kind of fucked up right now because you're trying to figure out what direction you gonna go for your family because you tired of the nine to five. Shout out to you too, man. Take your time with it, but don't be too patient, but just know God got your back. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, man, you get tired of working for other people, but shout out to people who got a job, who realize they got to get in themselves. Shout out for the women that are actually holding down, you know what I'm saying? The, um, the, um, the, the, the talented brother who pretty much, he know he a hustler, but he's just trying to figure out what lane he want to go. Shout out to everybody who willing to get off their ass to get what they need and want in life. Shout out to every last one of you. For the motherfucker that's lazy, shout out to you too because now you kind of understand I got to get out there and get it myself. I ain't going to put nobody down because I don't know nobody's situation. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody. Shout out to you, man. Let me go ahead and end this stream. I want to show them a mad love, man. Thank you very much. I do a, a, a more quality stream, you know what I'm saying, on Sunday night, 1145. Um, PM, which rolls into Monday morning. The reason why I do it late because a lot of times minors got to have their ass in bed, and sometimes the situation get kind of a little deep. You know what I mean? Um, I guess you say the vocabulary word today will be erotica. I think it's pronounced erotica. Erotica is we talked about pornography um, last show, and I've been doing more research because I wanted to really get get like a nice, nice, nice quality. Um, level of understanding when it came to pornography, the, the original, 
the, the origin of pornography and I kind of stumbled across the word erotica, E-R-O-C-I-T-A, which I feel as if Instagram is the, is the portal to pornography when it comes down to the word erotica, erotica, erotica or erotica, one of them, where it's pretty much like erotica is more like a teasing. It's not revealing, but it's a more teasing look in you know, forms and photographs, which pretty much leads your mind to be stimulated, which then goes to the, the P word, and then with the dopamine, which pretty much me and Seth is going to talk about, hopefully, uh, this weekend. See, shout out to Erotica. Boy, you a trip, man. <laughs> you a trip. A lot of people don't know that. A lot, see, a lot of people, um, they Erotica is more actually accepted in today's society. They don't see it as a form of disgrace because, believe it or not, they feel as if it's not a um, it's not a disgrace to the female, but they feel as if pornography is because it's always pretty much uh, showing that the man has the essence of power over female. That's have been coming from my research. That's what I've been reading. So y'all don't judge me. I'm, I'm learning as I go. You know what I'm saying? Um, but most definitely, y'all be blessed. Take care. I will most definitely love if you pretty much follow the kid. Uh, keep me motivated. Um, I, if y'all interested in me dropping down the cash app, I'm most definitely going to get my uncle cash app. Because right now, he probably waiting on a damn stimulus check. You know what I'm saying? So if I could send any blessings his way to help him out, that's cool. The money goes straight to him, goes straight to his account. Y'all ain't got to pretty much worry about it. Um, for as me industrializing and commercializing myself, I know I keep talking about it, but I'm pretty much patient because I don't I don't believe in pretty much selling people without giving a form of value or understanding my, my value that I pretty much give you guys, I feel. Um, I will have T-shirts and stuff like that available. You know what I mean? And I do all my, my stuff myself. I print my own stuff, and it's always quality. Um, also, with that being said, if you want to send a donation, that's cool, too. But i just rather you be here and just fuck with the content. If you pretty much want to give me anything, I'd rather you purchase something for me. Put me to work for, for your hard-earned money. I don't believe in that just getting money. I don't, that, ain't, that ain't my thing. I'd rather work for it. I'd rather pretty much feel as if I've served you. Um, I don't have my actual number here up on the chat. Um, but I love to be very engaging with people, as I just want to show y'all, because I, I like to keep I like to keep it a hundred with anything I say on here. Um, if you go here, I talk to my I'm always talking to people pretty much all the time on my chat. Or well, not necessarily chat, my actual number. It ain't gonna focus. Okay, there we go. But I'm always I'm always talking to my people that pretty much like get amongst me on the show. I'm always talking to them. So um, that number is also on previous streams. You'll see it's, the black and, it's black and it's green and pink, but I got to go help my brother. He Right now, he need me. Y'all be blessed, man. Y'all stay positive. And remember the role. You play a role in your family. It may be the hunter or maybe the small one, but develop a form of forgiveness and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and just be a blessing to your family. You, you think it's going to be some bullshit? Call them ahead of time and just sell them. Hey, man, you going to so-and-so house? Man, I'm looking forward to fucking meeting you, man. You know, I've been thinking about you the time we was younger, so-and-so. And then so when they see you, hopefully everything be pretty pretty smooth. It's, if it's still uncomfortable, you know what I'm saying? God, see that as the essence of favor that you're trying to pretty much keep it, put your family together. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be blessed. I'm out. I don't want to leave, though. I ain't going to lie. But my brother going to kick my ass. I'm going to get over there. I got to go help him out. Y'all be good.